Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Blatro. Don't know what it is, but it seems to involve cards. This is a demo version that's available on the Steam Next Fest. This was not sponsored, but it was uh, suggested by one of my editors. Hello there, my name is Jumbo. I'm here to play, uh, help you learn how to play the game. Your goal is to earn chips to defeat the enemy blind. You earn chips by playing poker hands. Each poker hand earns a base amount of chips multiplied by some mult. Cards also earn you some chips. Hover over them. Ah. Now select up to five cards to play and press play hand. Ace, King, Jack, all I'm missing is a Queen 10. So I reckon I can play these two twos. Okay. You can also discard up to five cards to try and make stronger hands. Try it. I reckon I'll discard these three. Statistically, that's a good move, I think. Yeah. Okay, now we're cooking with diesel. Earn 300 chips before you run out of hands. Right. Okay, so I have to be a little bit more strategic. So I can play these pair of fours plus this three. And I guess I'll throw the queen in there because I'm hoping for the flush with a 10. So I'll play this hand. And that's kind of like a discard. We got the 10, so now we can play the flush. I think that's a flush. I don't remember how it works again. No, it's a straight, not a flush, but it's slightly worse than a flush. So only the cards that actually contribute to the thing actually count. But that means playing a card is a bit like a discard. Oh, and there's cards in my deck. I can keep track of what might actually come out here. So I scored 300 which wins me the round. I had two remaining hands worth a little bit of money, so I got five cash out. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now that you're flush with cash, you can buy some new cards from the shop. Try buying this handsome devil. Plus four molt. Ooh, okay. This is one of the 150 jokers you can add to your run. Every joker does something different. This one adds plus four molt to every hand that you play. Be picky, you can only carry five joker cards at a time. So I could buy the Empress. Enhances two select cards to mult cards. This tower card is consumable. This one will enhance your playing cards. Hold on to it. You can carry up to two consumable cards at a time. If you have enough, you can buy a voucher. Vouchers permanently upgrade your run. Ooh, permanently. Oh, okay. Vouchers are restored after you beat the boss blind. And check out both of the booster packs in every shop. They're full of goodies. So choose one of three tarot cards. I choose one of three planet cards to add to your deck. Let's go to the next round. When you get more cards, remember you can rearrange them. Joker's trigger in order from left to right. Make sure that you use your consumables. Select the two cards and press use on the tarot card to enhance them. Let's say I m use these threes to molt and then I drop the queens in there. And then I play, boom, boom. So that's 10, 10, three, three, and a molt, three molt, boom. Holy shit, and the Joker gave me just basic, I one-handed that thing, holy crap. I think this is a sick as hell game. All right, we cash out for the eight. We got 10. So we can probably gain plus one hand per round. Convert three of the selected cards to hearts. Level up two power, plus one multi plus. That's kind of cool. I like the idea of opening these standard packs. I could get the voucher. A plus one hand really gives you a chance to win. I think you gotta take the passive. You gotta take the voucher if you can. Plus one hand is a, such a such a nice win. Especially when we got the plus four mult here. It means even small plays actually get pretty good mult. All right, let's play the hook. So very hand played, we discard two random Cards. So we never want to try to chain plays, but I do see a pretty good play here and I'll keep the five We'll play these two pair and the Joker will give us good molt on this discard of two random cards. It's fine All right, pretty good opener. There's no reason not to play the twos. I can do some strategic discarding It may be worth it to discard the nine because there's only one nine left in my deck And that did let me draw a six which means I could play a two pair and I'll play the four with them Well, no, there's no reason to play the four because I might discard it anyway. So we'll play this hand boom Boom, boom. We should get a good molt on this, nailing us a pretty good outcome. All right, so we just need one pretty basic hand and we'll beat this guy. I think I should use my discards. I only have one two left in my deck, so I should drop that. I only have one six left, so statistically these are good plays. And now I do have a queen I can play. I think this should barely squeak me over the line with a victory. Nice. Kick ass. Okay, so the ante has been upped. We had three remaining hands, which is nice. So yeah, actually getting plus one hand is pretty good. We're gonna cash out. Played cards with odd rank give you plus three chips when scored. That's super strong. Uncommon jokers each give 1.5 molt. This makes basically half of my deck more valuable. And that seems like a pretty good passive, so I'm gonna take that. I really like passive benefits when it comes to these kind of games. I don't wanna reroll the shop, we're just gonna go deeper. Now I can skip the blind, which upgrades my flush by three levels. I think I'm gonna play the blinds. Oh, that's a permanent upgrade on those threes. Oh shoot, well I definitely don't wanna discard a three. I'll just triple discard here. I'm gonna play a high card. I'll play the ace high card with a four and a seven. Because it does get a plus 30, right? And the and the molt is actually sick. Ace high card is actually a really good hand for me. And it basically acts like a free discard. I want to discard evens and face cards, honestly. 
I'll just play all my weakest cards. Ace high, boom. We get the molt, feels good. That's sick, actually. This card makes, with this card, makes the ace high card like a sick play. I could play king high card. I could also play queen. I could play nine high and get rid of my evens. The sooner I win, the better, though. I could get rid of some of these unjuicy cards pretty easily with this king play. Double king, and we get the molt. So it's tasty. Okay, here we go. Play the queens. That should just about squeak us a win. I know I'm losing money here by just playing these crap hands, but I'm, I'm trying to learn how the game works. Like, do I get my discards back? That's something I'm not sure about. We did win. Ooh, so you get interest for every bit of cash you have. Okay. Oh man, this is really tempting. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the spade. So my spades are stronger now. I'm gonna take a spectral card. Ooh, destroy one random card in your hand. Add two random enhanced aces. Add foil, holographic, or polychrome. If I had an odd spades right now, that'd be sick. Add polychrome to a random joker, destroy all of the jokers. No, I don't like that. Converts all cards into a single rank. I don't know what rank means. I like this Grim. Two random enhanced aces. It destroyed it too. And now I got two randomly enhanced aces in my deck, which already plays pretty hardcore around this odd Todd Joker combo I've got going. I could skip the big blind. I would get two tarot cards and then I'd be able to go straight to the wall. Let's do it. Let's skip it. So I got a mega arcana pack. Doubles money. Well, I can't do that. Enhances one card into a stone card. Plus 50 chips, no rank or suit. I don't know what rank means. Enhances two selected cards to bonus cards, which is plus 20 extra chips. I could go for my three here and my seven, which would make this three a lot more valuable. Oh, great up to two extra random planet cards. I don't know how much room I have in my deck. I'm pretty ace heavy right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this, the high Priest priestess. So we got Saturn, oh nice. Level up straight, plus three molt and plus 20 chips. Level up three of a kind, plus two molt and plus 20 chips. Pretty sick, pretty sick. I'm gonna go with the Hierophant and I'm gonna upgrade my three and my seven. This gives base chips. And that would scale really well with my spade 10 here. Let's go for the wall. Let's see what we can do. The blind is extra large, but I got a two pair opener. Could go for a three of a kind here. I might go for the three of a kind 10 and then use this. Okay, so that leveled up my three of a kind. Ah, okay, so it doesn't actually have an effect right now. I may as well use these because, you know, they could come up. I actually like all of my cards except for the jack. So I'm going to play the jack as well here. Play a very top heavy hand. Smash them with 60 plus a molt. And now we can draw. I would like to play a three of a kind with my tens. So I might do a nine high card and use this as a chance to discard the center of my deck here and fish for better cards. So I'll just, I'll play a crappy hand because I will get molt. Like it's not a bad hand, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm, I'm fishing for a big hand. I'm gonna discard the king, the two eights and a four. Cause there's only one more king in my deck. There are two more eights in my deck. It might be worth it to play it, but, but I think I can, if I get another 10, I even have a pretty good chance of getting aces here. So I'm gonna go ahead and discard. Two aces, would love to get a three of a kind. I'm gonna discard again in the hopes that I fish for an even better hand. Okay, final discard. Let's see, if we, let's see if we hit the money. Okay, we did not hit the money. So I'm gonna play a pair of aces and get rid of these two cards as well. That'll draw me four new cards. Plus 11, plus 30, plus 31. We get the 4x molt. And here we go. This is what we were looking for. Is one, two, three. The tens plus the two threes. And now we can make a big play happen. Well, this should be a hell of a lot. 4x multiplier. Boom, nailed them in that single hand. So sometimes you gotta, you gotta build up to a single hand play here. We did have two hands left, which does get a little bit of cash. Cash out for seven. Copies the ability of the leftmost joker. Pretty powerful. Planet cards appear more frequently in the shop. Don't care about that, honestly. Reserved parking is insane, so I'm gonna take it because it's so much money potential. Dude, this game is actually sick as hell. Choose one of two spectral cards, gives a free spectral pack. I think I'm gonna fight this as well because I think I can do it. I should be able to do it with a decent number of hands and also holding onto face cards actually has a lot of value for me. I'll play the two tens and I will play my weak. Well, I don't wanna play my spades. My spades are strong. So I'll play my weak diamonds cards. Although then again, I am one card off a of flush here. I just need another diamond. So you could say I could play an ace high and hope for another diamond. And my ace high is pretty decent. Thanks to the odd Todd combined with the Joker. 230, not bad. Now we're looking at flushes. So boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five. Now that's a nice flush. And I think my flush was leveled up, right? No, it was my straight that was leveled up. Well, I mean, if we're looking at straight, like a straight flush, well, that's a different ball game. I think we take the flush now that we have it. One, because this thing has a bunch of extra chips. 
We'll get a decent play from this, I think. My odd cards are worth quite a bit here. There's a decent multiplier, and we got some money from holding the king. Love it. We got three of a kind eights, one of which is a club, so I can drop my five. I do want to keep my threes, though, because my threes have decent synergy. I'll also get rid of the four. Yeah, there's only two fours left in my deck, so I think this is a good hand. This is a uh, three of a kind with a couple of burner cards. Plus four multi, boom, plus four multi, 900 points, looking good. We could do a discard of the lower end of my deck. What do we got still, like, sort of churning back here? We haven't drawn any sevens. If I'm holding this many face cards, I think it is worth it. Statistically, I should earn more money than having more hands. So I'm going to do a quick discard here and hope that I can get an easy, quick play. And then when I play this, I should get a chance to, like, roll a bunch of dice. Money, money, money. Nice, huge earning cash and then we can just play ace high and we should earn a ton of cash from this this should win us the game plus we get a plus two extra gold we ended up with really good cash after this run very happy with that i like that there's a whole strategy now to making money farm of these weaker fights cash out for five but we got 13. oh a negative joker i'm not gonna buy a negative joker i'm gonna save my money i think i'll just go to the next round choose up the two five playing cards to add to your deck now we can do the big blind and earn money i think i'm gonna skip the big blind and get these free cards because i like this i like this whole skip thing it's cool i got a stone card which is just 50 chips no ranker suit ace of spades really combos well with my deck right now i have this queen of spades i think i take these two Plus 10 chips, 1 in 5 chance for plus 20 mult, and a 1 in 15 chance to win 20. I'm taking that, and I'm taking you. All right, let's go play the house. First hand is drawn face down. Okay, well, let's play the bottom half and see what happens. Lovely. Two pair. Excellent. With spades to give it that plus 30 multi. Looking great. That was a really good opening hand. So I can assume this is a king. We've definitely got three kings what are these though? I don't know. I'm gonna play the two nines with this. We know this is like a 10 or a jack or something. We definitely know it's not a king. Yeah, look at that. Look at that money. Okay, so that's a nine and that's a jack. I'm gonna do a little bit of discarding. Just refill my hand. Three, four, five, six. We almost have a straight here and our straight is leveled up. So if we could fish for a six, that wouldn't be bad. I could drop my top half of my deck and hope it. We'll just do a high card here to see if we can scoop up a six. And we did, which is perfect. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a straight. And it has a bunch of extra chips in it. So it should be pretty valuable. It was almost a straight flush, which would have been really fun. Seven. Oh, times 11. Looking good there. 2K. So we just need to get a, a small but strong hand here. And I think trip aces with trip with double tens should get us there. Yeah, we'll just play the hand and we should earn a little bit of cash here. Love to see it. Multipliers kicking in, plus bonuses. Yeah, look at that. Getting these base numbers up is so nice. And we nailed two extra cash too. Oh, so we're up to anti four. We scored, we got the five cash, and we got interest, which was nice. We cash out nine. So we'll be getting four interest on our next game. Oh, 10 per round. I don't think I need to do that. Let's have a look. We got Saturn. Level up the straight or 40 chips for each remaining discard. That's a pretty good, that's 120 chips per hand. That's if you don't want to go in a discarding direction. I think we'll just go to the next round. We're going to play out, I think, all of these. Rerolls the boss blind. All club cards are debuffed. That's actually fine by me because my goal here is to earn a bit of cash so i'm gonna see if i can make some money out of this guy all right what do we got four five six seven eight actually we got a opening straight here with a couple face cards in the bank so we'll play that straight it's worth at least what 50 is worth at least 350 it'll get a little bit of extra thanks to the multipliers and stuff what do they get us 1500 this is a good opener we got two pair we also got the beginnings of a straight over here almost a straight flush i could play my two pair i think i'm okay with playing my two pair because the aces will get a lot of value then again i could hold out to my kings i'm just gonna play the two pair this should get good value yeah not bad okay what do we got here seven eight nine ten jack jack ten we want to play a nine of spades ideally because that gives a mult bonus and we got a seven of spades which is another mult bonus so I could discard these three in the hopes for better spade cards. Okay, well, aces came up. So we'll go seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. Boom. Nice, nice. Look at all that money flowing in. And we got the joker. We got the multi kick in. We should get another multi kick in. Boom. Be very valuable. Oh, I got the ace of hearts. It's a steel card. It gives me 1.5 mult while this card stays in hand. That's actually super good. I could play my trip aces to win. I think I'm going to discard these. And I'll discard these as well. I'm just going to discard down because I've basically won. And keeping these three face cards in my hand will get me a little bit of cash. Yeah, this should, this should be a winning hand i think three of a kind plus my three of a kind has been leveled up nice there we go we got him i'm loving this game dude eight thousand small blind we love it all right two remaining hands one dollar each five interests perfect that's what we want we want to see that five interest we always want to be finishing around by 25 gold in the bank played even ranks oh 
That's crazy. Buy and use the Hermit to double my money. Thanks for the 20 cash. I am gonna buy this guy because that means all of my even cards can be huge mults. I could also raise the cap on interest, which I think I will do because I'm at the point where I could potentially earn 10 interest per round. Let's just open a Celestial pack. Let's do it, let's for fun. Okay, we could level up a two pair. I do like that. Level up the full house. This would make pairs on par with a two pair, which gives me better hands to play. And while that isn't ideal, you can see now my pair is 25 and two, so it's actually comparable. Let's open another celestial pack. I should really be playing around higher, higher returns though. Flush, how many flushes do I get though? Four of a kind is hard. I do play some high card hands, so Pluto could be sick here. I'm gonna take Pluto, because this makes my ace high card like pretty strong. I oh, know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing weird. I'm gonna fight him, right? 1200. We gotta get 1200. Like if I play this Ace of Diamonds solo right now, there is something to that. Like just out of curiosity, right? What does this come up to, right? I play a single card, right? It's a high card. That's 450 points, right? That's not bad for a single play, it's a single card play. Now what I really should have used that for is discarding cards, which I didn't do. But this is actually a sick hand, these two eights. I'm gonna do a discarding hand play here and get a little bit of value from it. Nice big molt. And now I'm hoping, oh yeah, here we go, trip, eights. So this is gonna be a huge hand for me right now. And the reason it's gonna be a huge hand is because I have this joker that gives me extra mult for my hands are even scored. So this is uh, what, a full house? Oh yeah, oh my God, look at that mult. 2000, so sick as hell full, full house right there. Two, three, four, five, okay, I do see, I do see a king pair that I can drop. I could do a two pair, but I probably should discard. There's a lot of aces that could come out. The twos are nice, but only if I can play them with something strong, like extra kings. And I am quite attached to this three, but it's honestly not that good. So I think I'm just going to discard the middle and hope that I fill out with something useful. Oh yeah, here we go. I think we do trip queens with double two, because this will get us a lot of base and I get to play this for a one in five chance at a 20 mult. 10, nice, and four mult. 10 and 4 mult, 10 and, oh, no mult. I'd okay, love to see that. We definitely need better hands than what we've been hitting. I think I might have played poorly here. I'm gonna get rid of the two, I'm gonna get rid of the five, and I'm gonna get rid of the nine and hope we hit something a little bit better. I'm basically discarding literally what I just drew. Okay, quad aces, four of a kind is crazy. 11, 30, oh yeah, there we go. This is the mult we're looking for. Give me the big mult. And okay, now we're a little bit closer to victory. I mean, I guess I can play a two pair, but that's about it. Unlucky, didn't quite make it because I screwed around with the single card drops. But here's the thing, this is a really cool game. 100% think this is one of the coolest poker based roguelike games ever. Wholeheartedly recommend, 100%. You should totally play this game. It is sick as hell, get it on Steam. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. This was Bellatro. Easily one of the coolest games I've seen in the Steam Next Fest. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!